Shibu. Today we'll talk about the thing which everyone does but doesn't know why do they do that and how to control. That's called as self-talking. Self-talking is glorified into planning using different corollaries to glorify it. But self-talking in itself has gone out of control in so many people or rather most of the people that it has resulted in so many things. Insomnia, anxiety, hypertension, then often leading, leading to blood pressure, depression. Why is it that we talk so much with it? And if you would have observed your voice, even if you have cold, doesn't change the time you talk within yourself. What is it which is talking? What is it which is not dependent upon the South Chamber, but is independent? What is it which keeps on mumbling all the time? Makes you deduce the things, even if those things have no relevance to you. Like when you're walking on a street, all of a sudden there's a billboard. There's a there's a there's an advertisement. And that advertisement has no sense to you. But still you read it. Because it's uncontrolled. The Vedas say it is because of the blockage in the heart chakra. Which is leading to this uncontrolled emotion. Language is an emotion. It's a feel. It's a, it's a language. It's a tone which the brain understands. That's why when you learn one language, the themes of one language, the behavior of one language, it becomes difficult to learn a, another language or a separate language which, a, which has altogether a different kind of feeling different kind of pronunciation. In psychology, this is called as Brinkley's asphyxia, in which the person, without its control, without the control of the senses of the brain, is enacting in a way in which is, is more, more of a negative, more of a uh, losing of the energy than gaining anything out of it. As the speaker in one of his earlier video has already shared, taking the breath within you, holding it there, and then squeezing out with a gush. deliberate presentation of this exercise while standing is to let the audience know that this exercise is independent of the posture. You can do it while standing. The other method which is learned by the experience and has uh, proven to be clinically correct is the time you think. There are two kinds of things which are, ha which are happening. One, one is the acoustic, the sound. The other is the visual. Now what we do is, you mute the acoustic. You meet, mute the sound. Let the visuals be there. You know, just try it out. Go in your past. Try to have a good memory or a bad memory about anything. Just see the ambience. Just see the image of it, have the scenery, but mute the voice. And then you see, the time you keep on practicing it, that image will get, you'll get, you'll start getting bored of it, and then you'll move on. Because you are not able to correspond to it. It is not anymore appealing. Like watching your favorite movie. It's like watching your favorite movie with a muted sound. You lose a taste of it. The same way, if you want to 
overcome this self talking which often leads to the ailments and furthermore severe ailments which the speaker has already mentioned in the introduction of the this video then it is always better to enhance yourself have the control of your life instead of being controlled by the situation just an example to prove my point and then we summarize it when there is uncontrolled breathing it requires medical attention when that amount of breathing you do while running jogging exercising that's taken as positive so just have the control of the thing and the things will happen hope you'll undertake this exercise and be better the time you meet the next time